there's anything more scammy than carbon credits, it's cryptocurrency-based carbon credits. And if there's anything more scammy than cryptocurrency-based carbon credits, it's cryptocurrency-based carbon credits involving ex-WeWork CEO Adam Newman. Guess what this story's about? Yes, the disgraced WeWork founder is back with a new company. It's called Flow Carbon, and it's a cryptocurrency-based carbon credit market. Reuters reports, quote, Flow Carbon lets project developers sell their carbon credits through tokens, digital assets stored and traded using blockchain technology, allowing them to access cheaper funding and scale their projects more quickly. Last time Newman tried to scale projects more quickly, he ended up obscenely rich, pilfering hundreds of millions of dollars. But sure, this time, on crypto, he'll be an honest dealer, as evidenced by how his venture is raising money. It took in $38 million through the sale of a token, the Goddess of Nature token, backed by a parcel of certified carbon credits from nature-based projects over the last five years. More such tokens are planned with other parcels of credits. In other words, each goddess of nature token corresponds to most likely a plot of land with trees planted on it. Corporations like to greenwash their contributions to global warming by offsetting their pollution with carbon credits. When capitalists talk about net zero emissions, they don't mean zero emissions. They keep polluting. They just offset that pollution by planting trees somewhere else, which are claimed to suck that equal amount of carbon out of the atmosphere. Yeah, I know, it's total bullshit, as governments that bought into it are finding out. Gizmodo reported on the state of California, which passed a law requiring polluters to purchase carbon credits. It learned that, quote, planting trees in a faraway place doesn't actually mitigate the damage perpetuated locally. In many cases, like that of California's catastrophic state program, carbon offsets end up doing more environmental harm than good. Carbon credit purchasing actually exacerbated deforestation in Brazil, according to a 2019 ProPublica investigation, and industry can use offsets as an easy excuse to keep polluting. According to Bloomberg, only 5% of the credits actually remove carbon from the atmosphere, and major companies like J.P. Morgan Chase, Disney, and BlackRock were conspiring with one of the world's largest environmental groups to buy up land that was not in any danger of getting destroyed all as a way to make themselves look greener than they really were. So Adam Newman is taking this market and spinning it into a crypto-based speculative asset. Hmm. They're going to give Adam Newman a trillion dollars, aren't they? Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our new videos. Also, if you want to see Means Morning News in its complete form, not just the clips we post here, Head on over to Means TV and get access to all our new episodes and our entire backlog, plus tons of other great movies and original TV shows.